video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Isul doll. This is the Mad Hatter from the Classical Alice series. And no, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Let's go with Isul because sure, why not? And he's part of the Pulup family. Um, this is the packaging. I don't have any other of the Classical Alice series, so this is all new to me, and I've never opened an Isul doll before, so this is pretty cool. Let's get him out of the box. So out of the box, this doll comes with some amazing stock. I, I mean, this outfit is beautiful. Uh, let's start with the accessories. So first we've got his amazing Mad Hatter hat. I love this kind of diamond pattern on the fabric. It attaches with this little barrette. Um, this piece, the diamond, the jack of, I think it's the jack of diamonds, uh, is actually just attached with a pin, and I think that's so it could be switched out for this one. I'm not really sure, because this is also a pin, so I think that's the concept, like you could put this one in instead. Um, or maybe both, I don't know. The hat has some really interesting embellishments with some ribbons and this detail here. Another neat detail about this pin is that right here is a little charm. It's like a little pocket watch charm. So that's really cute. Um, of course, he comes with his card, like all the pull-up family dolls come with. And, oh, if you didn't see, Isul is Pulip's brother her little brother. Uh, he also came with a gold stand. And now let's take a look at the doll itself and its stock. So at the moment, his hair is down. It came pulled back in a tie, which I took out because his hair was kind of messed up when I took him out of the box, which I think he was. I was just a little too rough getting him out of the box. So I'll fix that um, later. But it is pretty soft wig. His hair is a little tangled. It is a little messy looking. Um, I don't know if that's just part of his character because he's the Mad Hatter or what. Let's start with the face up. Really pretty eyes, very pretty eyes. Um, his eyebrows are kind of shaped like my um, the doll I have that's a Taeyang doll, a similar eyebrow shape. Um, he does have a slight like it's like a double cat eye thing going on here. A little bit of lower lash detail and some fine lines here and here to accentuate a, a lid. Love the eye color. It's got some blue in it, but it's also kind of like this, I guess you would call this kind of an amber color over the blue. And it's just really pretty, very striking. Um, I'll show you, he has a nude eyelid. You can see, but very pretty. Um, he's got this cute little pointed nose and very pale, pale tint to his lips. I love the face up. So taking a closer look at his stock, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful with all of the details. It makes me want to get the classical Alice. I mean, this is gorgeous. He's got this gold chain with hearts like a triple chain that goes kind of around his hips and it's attached on either side of his coat and then he's got some chain detail here he's got the faux gold buttons on his waistcoat he's got this key charm around his neck I mean so much detail I love the cuffs Let's just uh, take this stock apart so we can see how many layers it actually is. So let's take a closer look at his stock. First we have his <clears throat> like gold or bronzy looking loafers. So cute. Um, then there was his waistcoat, which is a blue and white stripe and these beautiful little gold faux heart buttons. It's really adorable. It's got some gold kind of braiding trim. And it velcros in the front. So detailed. Then his beautiful coat, which is lined with the same diamond pattern material that his hat is made of. 
the outside of the jacket is this kind of textured, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but it's, it's like a green, a deep, deep green color. I almost call it, and it looks deeper than an emerald green actually. And then the gold braided trim. And then this chain goes around his hips and just hooks on to the trim over here. It's incredibly detailed and really beautiful. Um, and then bottom layers of his stock are this cream colored shirt with the kind of ruffle detail of the cuffs. It's also around the waist of the shirt and down the front of the chest. This collar piece, this bow, I guess we call it a bow tie, is just tied on in the back and it's got this gold key. Then his beautiful, what are they called, breeches? Um, <laughs> they're a black and blue diamond pattern with the gold trim down the side and um, again repeating those the material of his jacket cuffs along the knees and then he's got black and white striped stockings that go just around here. Just amazing looking stock and really it makes me want to get the classical Alice because he's he's just so amazing looking. So let's put them all together and uh, get his hat on and his hair tied back so we can see the full effect. So here we have the Mad Hatter in his hat. And oh my gosh, I love this doll so much. And I love how the shadows and his eye makeup and the color of his eyes kind of give him this blanched look. I don't know how else to say it. He just, it, it, it emphasizes the paleness of his skin and and just, I don't know, makes him more authentic somehow as a Mad Hatter character, I guess. I'm not sure, but I love the overall effect. And of course, the stock, his costume is amazing. He looks fantastic. I'm so glad I got this doll. I love him. He's great.